This is the video for example 3.2, and the example reads this way. Find the horizontal and vertical components for the following vectors. Angles are given with respect to the horizontal. A, 45 meters per second at 25 degrees. B, 85 newtons at 35 degrees. C, 1180 newtons at 80 degrees. And D, 25 meters per second squared at 66 degrees. So we're gonna start with A, which reads 45 meters per second at 25 degrees from the horizontal. So the easiest way to do this is gonna to be to draw a picture. So we have a velocity at 45 meters per second. We know that the angle of this velocity is at 25 degrees from the horizontal. To solve this, we're gonna draw this into a triangle into its vertical and horizontal components. So this is the horizontal and this is the vertical. Now to solve problems like this, we use Sokotoa. And the cheetah's sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So let's find the vertical first, which we will call V. If we know an angle, we know the hypotenuse, and we're looking for the opposite side from the angle. So we have the opposite and hypotenuse, so we'll use sine. Sine of the angle equals the opposite, which is what we're solving for, over hypotenuse, which is 45 meters per second. So we will plug this into our calculator to solve for V. V equals 19.02 meters per second. Now to solve for the horizontal, which we can call H, we could use either cosine or we could use Pythagorean theorem. For this one, let's use cosine to get a little more practice. The reason we're using cosine is because we're looking for the adjacent side and we know the hypotenuse. So we will write out cosine of the angle, which is 25 degrees, equals adjacent, which is what we're looking for, so h, over hypotenuse, which we know is 45 meters per second. So we'll plug this into our calculator and find the answer. Our answer is 40.78 meters per second. So now we have our vertical and our horizontal components. Let's move on to part B. Part B states that there's an 85 newton force at 35 degrees. So we'll draw a picture just like the beginning. So we have a force of 85 newtons at an angle of 35 degrees. So we're gonna solve for the horizontal and vertical components just like the last one. This is the horizontal side and this is the vertical side. And we'll write Sokotoa again. This time let's solve for the horizontal first. So we're looking for the adjacent side of the angle and we know the hypotenuse. So we would use cosine. Cosine of 35 degrees equals h over 85 newtons. And we plug this into our calculator. Sixty-nine point six two newtons is our answer. And that's the horizontal component of this force. Now to solve for the vertical, we're looking for the opposite of the angle. We know the hypotenuse, so let's use sine.
48.75 newtons is our answer. And we now have found the vertical component. Let's move on to C. We'll write our cheat again. So C states that we have a 1180 newton force at 80 degrees from the horizontal. So we'll once again draw a picture. And it's okay if this isn't a scale. As long as the numbers are right, the math will work out. vertical and horizontal. So this time let's solve for vertical first. So we note the angle and it's 80 degrees. We're looking for the opposite and we know the hypotenuse. So once again we're going to use sine. Sine of 80 equals vertical over hypotenuse. And we'll plug this into our calculator. we find the answer to be 1,162.07 newtons is our vertical. Now let's do Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is a, this is b, and this is c of a triangle. So we can plug in the numbers that we know. We're trying to solve for h. We know vertical. And we know the horizontal. And we plug all this into our calculator. Our answer is 204.92 newtons, and that's the horizontal. Now finally, let's move on to D. D states that there is a 25 meters per second squared acceleration at 66 degrees. horizontal and vertical components. So let's do vertical first. Let's quickly rewrite our cheat. So we're looking for the opposite. We know the hypotenuse, so we want to do sine. V over 25 meters per second squared. And plug this into our calculator. we find 22.84 meters per second squared. And that's our vertical. Now let's find horizontal. Once again, we can either do Pythagorean theorem or we can do cosine. I think cosine is easier, so let's do that. Our horizontal is our adjacent side to the angle and the hypotenuse, we know. We'll plug this into our calculator. Our answer is 10.17 meters per second squared. And that's our horizontal component. This is example 3.2.